Thanks for tuning in to Luxsoft's newest issue of TechSpark, The Data Issue. With our TechSpark podcast series, you can listen to great insights no matter where you are. Your time is precious to us, so whether you're on the way to work or have errands to run, tune in to keep up on the emerging technologies in the world of financial services today. Unraveling Data Visualization What is data visualization? Data visualization is a common term which is interchangeably used to mean very different things. Depending on who you speak to, it can have a very different purpose and execution. Common definitions include the visualization layer put on top of data sets to make sense of the data, the tool used to visually interrogate and analyze data, and from which to gain insights, the process of displaying data information in graphical charts, figures, and bars, infographics and visual representation of complex data, and automated visual design to provide predictions. So it's a layer, a tool, a process, an infographic, and an automated visual design? It can be all of these and none, and that's the problem. Data visualization means different things to different people and industries. It's confusing. Visualization in broad terms. Visualization is powerful. Every visualization we see is likely to give us some new insights, points of view, and knowledge. Visualization is ultimately based on data or information and can either be raw or curated. Some of those insights might be already known, but perhaps not proven, while other insights might be completely new or even surprising. Certain visualizations may give an incorrect or biased skew, or may misinform and actually make data more difficult to understand. If it's the wrong visualization for the data or it's badly executed, it means certain insights and intelligence can be lost or be inaccurate, which can do real damage to your credibility and reputation. Your data is only as good as your ability to interpret and communicate it, which is why having the right type of visualization approach is critical. It's not practical to expect that data visualization tools and techniques will unleash a series of ready-made stories from data sets. They can only take you so far. There has to be some interpretation and analysis applied. Firstly, it makes sense to look for insights, which can be woven into stories, and in order to do this, you have to analyze the data, search for patterns, identify trends, and discover connections. This can be done manually and by using visualization tools. Secondly, how do you communicate those insights, define the stories you want to tell, and the relationships you are looking to show? Knowing this information will help you define and design the visualization to best deliver your message. 2. Data Visualization versus Information Visualization Two of the most popular types of visualizations are Data Visualization and Information Visualization. Often known as infographics and or information design and can be static, interactive, or animated. Because the use of graphical data visualizations is growing so quickly, there are a lot of different views about the difference between a data visualization and an information visualization. You may believe that the definition is clear, but when you get into more complex visualizations, you can start to wonder. We tend to see them as two steps in the same visualization process and use the following model to explain the differences. In the real world, these steps may be more intertwined depending on the circumstances. Data Visualization Characteristics The data will be quantifiable and therefore in the form of numbers. The process that is used to create them could be applied to another data set. They are likely to be objective, presented without context, and not edited. The visualizations focus on patterns and trends to allow analysts to determine insights. The graphic design of the visualization, the look and the feel, will be deliberately less obvious and take a back seat to the data itself. Data analysts will be more interested in the Gestalt principles, proximity, similarity, continuity, closure, and connectedness, rather than an editorial or thought leadership perspective. Often the raw data sets are so vast and unwieldy that it is almost impossible to process without some sort of automated pattern analysis. The visualization itself may take the form of more traditional library charts. Information Visualization Characteristics the data will be qualitative and therefore provided as informational. They are self-contained and discrete, 
the information is presented in the context of the story it is trying to tell. The visualizations focus on telling a story around the insights. The graphic design enhances the story and improves understanding of the information for a specific audience. They are sensitively designed and presented in a way that is accessible for an audience. They have an editorial focus or thought leadership perspective. The visualizations are often illustrations, iconography, and other graphical representations to illuminate the information. 3. AI and ML will do all the visualization work, right? Not quite. It depends on what the purpose is for the visualization. How will AI and ML know what a good or bad visualization looks like to the user? There is a human social aspect involved as much as there is a technological one. Machine learning, ML, is the science of making predictions based on patterns and relationships that have been automatically discovered and recognized in data. Based on teachings, ML can look for patterns from the raw data, input, and create a visualization, output, that helps users to understand the next level of insight. The visualization types need to be recognized, understood, and applied appropriately through machine learning. Applying an incorrect visualization type can give you inaccurate insights. So, in order to thrive, the machine learning model should be aligned to human storytelling and needs. It must be able to understand the differences between patterns for communicating certain insights. Every aspect of ML needs to be fueled and managed by human judgment. The virtual assistant example, if a trader asks a VA for information on a trade via a conversational interface, what is the best way for the VA to visualize the information back? In 90% of cases, this would be a context response but more detailed information could benefit from being graphically visualized. For example, trade price prediction for XAU. But how does an ML model know it's the right visualization for a trader to understand? An ML model needs to find out just how wrong it can be about the importance of the data in order to be as right as possible, as often as possible. This has to be carefully considered as the wrong trading decision based on an inaccurate prediction visualization could lose millions. If you look at visualization as a series of tasks or smart tasks, without a doubt, AI and ML can operate in that area. If you look at visualizations as strategic decision-making activity, it's a totally different spin. Unorthodox thinking, creative imagination, human experience, intensive interactions with clients and coworkers, soft skills, are activities you can't automate. Not yet, anyway. Four final points. The composition of your design is key. Don't just throw stuff in a blank page. Make sure it is arranged as best as possible. Choosing a good font makes all the difference. Avoid the use of fonts such as Times New Roman or Comic Sans, as they look a bit careless, transmitting the wrong idea to your audience. Rather, choose fonts that are easy to read. Color shouldn't be used only to embellish your work. It should have a functional purpose. For instance, it can be used to accentuate a certain detail. In the image above, the color saturation used makes it easier for the user to differentiate between the higher and lower numbers. Finally, I have to mention storytelling. Storytelling is all about communicating efficiently with your audience, giving them context to what they are seeing or reading, and putting yourself in their shoes. You have to consider the audience's profile, who you're targeting, and what is the most relevant and interesting information for them.